So Trevor, looking at this then, um, uh, on on who is the more pressure? Get into it. The chaser, Liverpool, or the chased City? I th- listen, I think it's it's winner takes takes all. It's as simple as that. If Liverpool win, they go two points clear at the top of the table. The momentum's with them. The confidence is with them. I don't think they're going to lose a game in the next seven, eight games after that Manchester City game. I think they will take the title. And if Manchester City do likewise, I think they win the title. I think you look at what Liverpool have achieved and you have to give them credit because what they've achieved over the last six, seven months with the recruitment, the players that they've brought in, uh, the consistency that they've shown to be able to get one point behind Manchester City, um, they've got a great team spirit and the results have been outstanding you know Diaz has come in brilliant you look at their front four or five now with Jota, Firmino Mane, Salah, Diaz you know any combination of three out of all them you can even throw in Harvey Elliott in there defensively they've improved Canate scored his first goal for Liverpool in his first Champions League goal last mm. night mm. Um, they've got strength and depth I think the difference is there's two different philosophies you've got one team that presses high and and um, they've got individual players that can win matches uh, with Liverpool. On the other, you rely on more of a team game. You still press high, but it's much more of a, a passing, more controlled. Yeah. Is, is it much in this Salah poor form thing? Is that being overstated? No, he hasn't no. scored a, a goal in open play since February the 19th. I think his confidence might have been affected slightly because obviously the you know the AFCON and then going going out of the World Cup. Um, so yeah, you can imagine that, that his confidence has been shot to bits a little bit. But his performance isn't like, like Jurgen Klopp said. You know, they see him in training every day. They see his sharpness, what, what he's doing in training. And it's only a matter of time. If he keeps on working, keeps believing in himself, keeps getting the support from the rest of the squad, that, that will come to fruition on Premier League games so and Champions League games. it's fine margins, Trevor. Fine margins. Where are those? Um, well, both teams, again, you know, winning last night in the Champions League, full of confidence. Uh, I think the fact that City kept a clean sheet, they'll be pleased with that because it was a bit of a makeshift back four. Uh, Cancelo played on the right. Um, Ake was in the middle with Laporte and um, yeah so it, 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 sorry Ake was on the left so yeah it was a bit of a um, a thrown together back four but we've got Kyle Walker back so we'll be da- at right back Cancelo will be back at left back and you'll, you'll expect it'll be Stones and Laporte in the middle listen I couldn't call it I think both are superb teams both are uh, playing football in their individual styles superbly well yeah. um, but what I do know is it's going to be it's going to be winner takes all because I, I, can't, I can't see whoever wins this game going on not to win the league not winning it it's quite incredible Simon after the lead that City had that Liverpool have managed to peg them right by um, well yes I mean I'm very mindful of only saying things that Jurgen Klopp likes um, but um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's as incredible as Manchester City regaining poise and building up a lead in the first place because Liverpool dropped off and drew a few games and lost the game and City stole the march there and what you've done is just the exact reversal Man City have dropped a couple of points dropped a, a couple of draws um, lost a couple of games and Liverpool have taken advantage of it I think it's an intriguing game on Sunday um, I don't think it defines. I think both of them have got some very challenging games coming there on afterwards. Um, I think it'll be interesting to see how one game sets up the next because you've got a cup semi final and then you've got a, a league game, and you'll be interested to see how one team reacts to what happens. If I were picking a result, I would pick a draw because I just think that that is more likely to be the likely outcome. You can never accuse Martin Keown of sitting on the fence ever no, again. No, no, because I just think, it's not sitting on a fence, it's, it, you can go one way, you've got three results to pick and I've picked a draw because I think it's likely to be that way. I just think that they will nullify one another. Um, I just think that at this stage, in the, in the Liverpool weren't brilliant against Watford on, over the weekend. That might be a little bit of ring rustiness and regaining some poise. Benfica, Okay, they're a big name, but they're not a great side. You've got to beat these teams to get past them, and it's a great result away from home. But they do well against the Portuguese sides all the time. They beat all of the Portuguese sides they always play. I just think my view, and I retain the view after I moved away from my position of anyone who finishes in front of Chelsea will win the league, and unfortunately I've been forced into that, <laughs> yes. um, is I think Man City will win the league. Mm. And that's not because I don't like Jurgen Klopp anymore. It's because I just think. Why is it? This has really got up your nose after what Klopp said to me. Do you hear about this, Trevor? <laughs> no. At, at, at Anfield on, on Saturday, Klopp came over to me and he, <laughs> he, he was brilliant and, and was prepared to speak about anything. And we spoke briefly about the show. Uh, and Jurgen goes on record as saying, Yeah, I, I listen. Of course I listen. Uh, I, I enjoy it. But your man Jordan, I don't agree with much that he says. And that has rankled mm. with old Glenark at Czech Boy. Not at all. Not at all. I, I obviously can appreciate that Jurgen Klopp is an island on his, right, on his own and he's an echo chamber. And only the things that he agrees with are relevant. So I'm going to try and tailor my conversations to 
to make sure that in three months' time, like I've asked you to, to go back to him and reassess again, that I can no, learn but, the lessons. But you always say, he hasn't tailored his thoughts. <laughs> mean what you say and say what you mean. Of course, I'm that, being facetious. There's an element of irony about it. I couldn't give a monkey's what Jurgen Klopp says. Okay, the that, bottom line is, is I, like to, I like to put some parody in the conversation. One can take, just because you say something to lighten the subject doesn't mean the subject's taken lightly, does it? <laughs> I think there's some really good matchups. You look at Diaz, how he's coming, um, and it played superbly well for Liverpool yeah. he'll be against Kyle Walker that's the first time them two have been playing against each other I think on the other side you look at Raheem Sterling against Trent Alexander-Arnold that'll be a, an unbelievable matchup. we know how good Raheem is if he starts and then you look at Phil Foden he's a Mancunian oh, he's, he's done well against Liverpool in the past yeah. I think these could be key players that can have probably uh, decide where the three points are going to go and if sure. I if You're I right. was if I was to get better in it I, I would say probably City would just about come out on top yeah no, Are I was you, asking the. You communicating with the production. I was asking the, the producer something for some knowledge, and it was just a redundant <laughs> exercise, wasn't it? What we all forget is that we're live on YouTube and Facebook. So anything we do off camera. It's never really off camera. That's right. You are looking splendid this morning, if I may say so. Thank you very much. Absolutely super. Thank you very much. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.